After a long period, Sony has just released a new firmware for our beloved Sony a7 III and we have an amazing new feature which is really awesome. I am sorry to say that we did not get the real-time tracking focus mode which a lot of people were expecting with the new firmware for the Sony a7 III, but the new FTP feature which comes with this new firmware is really game changer. With this new FTP feature, you can send the RAW and JPEG files of your photos automatically to your PC or a smartphone while you are shooting, which is really amazing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this new FTP feature both on your smartphone and your PC. I should also mention that you can use this FTP feature on the newer Sony uh, cameras, for example, Sony a7R4 and the prior cameras which came after the Sony a7 III. So without any further ado, let's start the video. Before starting, I should mention that you can either use Sony's official transfer and tagging app or any other third-party app which supports FTP. But in this video, I'm not going to use the Sony's official transfer and tagging app because in that app, when you want to send the photos both in JPEG and RAW, the FTP connection would crash and it, and it only supports the JPEG files. So I searched a little bit and found an app which is able to send both RAW and JPEG to your smartphone and it works flawlessly. So let's jump into my smartphone and see how we can set up and use this FTP feature with our Sony a7 III. The application which I found is the Wi-Fi FTP server for Android. This app works flawlessly with this new FTP feature on Sony a7 III. Download and install this app, then go to your Wi-Fi hotspot settings and set a password for your Wi-Fi hotspot, remember that password and turn on your Wi-Fi hotspot. Then we go to the Wi-Fi FTP server app and open it, then we go to the settings in the settings, make sure the anonymous access is unchecked. Then we should set a username and password in this section so we can use that username and password in the FTP settings of our camera and configure it. Then press a start. Now the FTP feature is started. FTP server is started. We have the uh, address, username and password, then we go to the camera settings and in the Wi-Fi settings we should connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot of our smartphone. We input the password which we set in the Wi-Fi hotspot settings, press OK and then OK. Now it should connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot of your phone. Now we go to the FTP transfer function. And in this menu, we go to the server settings and now we need to configure the FTP server settings on our camera. For example, I select the server 1, we have 9 server in this new firmware update for Sony a7 III. I change the name to Android. Then we go to destination settings. Now in the host name, we should set the address which we see in the Wi-Fi FTP server app. And then we change the port to 222. Two, one. Press OK now. Uh, in the directory settings, uh, it means that the camera will create a folder in the uh, root folder of our internal storage of our phone. Then we go to the user settings. Now uh, we uh, add the username and password, which I set both to Mehran. And now we press OK. Now we can go to the third tab. Um, you can uh, turn on the automatic transfer. It means that it would send the uh, photos automatically while you, while you are shooting, which is really great. I set, to, I set it to send, send both JPEG and RAW. And then we can turn on the FTP function. It connects to the Wi-Fi hotspot. Now we see the FTP function is connected. Now we can easily work with our camera and take pictures. And it would send the pictures in the background to the phone really easily and automatically. And it works flawlessly. I open the file manager of my phone to show you how it works. I go, you see that it has created a folder 
named a7 III, the camera made this folder. Now you see that it is sending the photos to my smartphone simultaneously while, while I am shooting. You see that I have received the JPEG file and then it is sending the RAW file. Uh, you will see a black uh, preview in the file manager. That's the problem. That's the problem of the file manager, and the photo is uh, uh, working proper properly. And we have the photo in our smartphone. And now uh, the raw file has also is also being sent, and it has, has completely sent. Now, if you keep on shooting, you will see that other photos are going to be sent to your smartphone. When you are reviewing your photos, you will see a FTP sign at the top of your camera. If you see the FTP sign, uh, which is white, it means it is sending. And if you see a FTP sign, uh, which is green, it means that both the JPEG and RAW of that photo has been sent to your smartphone. Now let's jump into my PC and I will show you how to use this new FTP feature with your Sony a7 III on your desktop computer. In order to use this FTP feature on your Windows PC, you need to install this FileZilla server app. I will put the link in the description. Download and install this app. The installation process is really easy. You just have to press the next button and install this app with the default settings. After you have installed this app, it would open and you will see a dialog. Do not change anything and just press connect. After you have pressed connect, we have to add this app to your Windows firewall so it allows the incoming connections to the Windows. Change settings, press the change settings button and allow another app. We browse the app uh, by default it is uh, located in drive C, program files x86. I will add the FileZilla server app and I will check both private and public network and also I will add the FileZilla server interface and press add and again check the private and public network and press ok. Now we do not have to disable the whole firewall of windows and it, it is more secure in this way. Now we open the FileZilla server, server interface, we go to the edit and users. We have to define a user here. We add a user, again I call it uh, my name Mehran and press OK. We define a password, again like uh, the one I define in a smartphone, again I set Mehran. And then we go to the share folders. You need to create a folder and define it for the FTP feature. I will create this folder on desktop, you can create it anywhere you want. I will call it FTP. You can rename it whatever you want and then I will add this folder and define it and then I will check all the boxes so the uh, camera has all the accesses it needs and then I press OK. Now we go to the camera. When you see the orange FTP sign it means it, the FTP is not configured now we have to configure it. We go to the server settings again like before. And in this time I select the server 2, I keep the server 1 for my smartphone. Now in the server 2 I uh, set it to PC, The name I change the name to PC. Now we need to find the IP address of uh, your computer. Uh, we open command prompt and type ipconfig. Now you can see that the IP address of my computer is uh, 192.168.12. I type that, that IP address and the default port for this FileZilla is 21. Now we need to define a, a directory like before, it is really easy. Then in the username and password I set both of them to Mehran and press OK. Now I select the server 2 and then press OK. Now. Uh, the mistake I made here is that I did not connect to the home Wi-Fi. First, you should go to the Wi-Fi settings and connect to your home Wi-Fi, which uh, your PC is connected to. My home Wi-Fi is Mehran. Uh, I will connect to this Wi-Fi. I will type the password and then camera connects to the same Wi-Fi as my PC. Then we can connect the FTP feature and use the FTP like the one I we used in our smartphone. Now I am connected to the Wi-Fi. Now I go to the FTP tra transfer function. Now we see it connects to the FileZilla server successfully. Now if I take a picture, you will see that 
it will start to send the picture to your PC. You can see the speed. The speed really depends on your uh, Wi-Fi router, uh, how, how much fast it is or how much in close you are to the uh, Wi-Fi wi router. If I open the folder, you will see it has created that directory which we define in the server settings and we have the uh, full JPEG photo here and the raw is also being sent. The speed is, is a little bit uh, slow here because I am far away from the router but uh, it is not bad. You can keep on shooting your photos and the uh, RAW and JPEG will, would be sent in the background simultaneously while you are shooting. The raw photo is still being sent, it is a little bit uh, huge in size. You can change the settings uh, and just send uh, only JPEG files so it uh, sends the, those files really faster. I changed it to JPEG only. Now if I shoot photos it would only send the JPEG files. You can keep on shooting and it would send them in the background which is really nice. If this video was useful for you, I would highly appreciate that you press that like button. By the way, my name is Mehran Haddad, I'm a photographer and filmmaker. And if you like this type of content, for example, photography tutorials, behind the scenes, cinematic videos, b-rolls, unboxings, and many other stuff related to camera world, I would really appreciate that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.